Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris and today I'm going to show you how to make these DIY band clamps here at Cow Dog Crafters. So for starters, these band clamps are actually made from a normal 99 cent spring clamp from Home Depot, as well as a bicycle inner tube. And you're gonna use a 27 inch bicycle inner tube that fits tire widths one and one eighth to one and one quarter. And that should accommodate for the head or mouth of the spring clamp rather. So these spring clamps are really great. I use them all the time. As you can see here, I have a full string and I actually had some extra spring clamps laying around that really needed to get the band treatment. Here we go. So as far as materials are concerned, I already mentioned the spring clamps as well as the bicycle inner tube. Other things you're going to need are a box cutter or some sort of blade, a marker, ironically, even though the uh, bicycle tires are black, and a small ruler. I also use a scrap block as sort of a straight edge for me to make sure that I'm striking my cuts. And behind me, off camera, I have a bucket that is sitting around with some water as well as a little bit of dish soap in there. First things first, I'm gonna get these little plastic sheaths off the jaws. You can see some of them are missing them already. These tend to come off anyway as you're using them. And as you can see, I've also treated these kind of junky over the time I've had them. I mean, they're 99 cent spring clamps, so. Uh, we're going to get these off first and then get rolling. With the bicycle tire unraveled, I'm going to start by cutting out this section just around the valve stem. And you can see here, this is how I'm going to use that little block. And then the next thing I'm going to do is cut this into five inch sections. So. I'll just take this you probably can't see it on camera but I do have a little bit of a mark the uh, black permanent marker does actually show up on here if you wanted to use something else you could use white chalk or colored pencil um, that would probably be super helpful but I don't have any The next step here is to actually measure up. I'm going to go an inch from each end. And then I'm just going to kind of eyeball about halfway. I'm going to cut it across. A cross cut, if you will. Line up those two points. And that's going to give me what is going to be the band. So as you're doing this, you'll start noticing that there is this weird powdery crud on the inside of the bicycle inner tube. I don't quite know what that's for, but we're gonna get rid of it. As I said earlier, I have this bucket. It is filled with some soapy water. Um, you can also use some simple green in here if you'd like. Really, I'm just gonna take these, dump them in, just kind of thumb them around a little bit to get that powder off the inside of the inner tubes. So after bath time, everything gets assembled. So the way that these end up fitting on here is you just take your spring clamp, open it up, slide one end on. The cut side is going to face the inside towards the clamp. Other side goes on and then you just fold that in and voila band clamp. Hey 
And with that, we're done. So as you can see, I get a lot of good use out of these band clamps. I've used them in other videos before. They're really great for attaching hardwood edge banding, but they're also really functional just as an extra hand in the shop. I love having these clamps around and I hope you guys find some great uses for them too. All right, folks, so that's all she wrote for this episode of Cat Dog Craftworks. If you liked this video, please hit the like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, hit the bell for more notifications. If this kind of video, which is a little bit different from my other videos, is something that you'd like to see more of, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And it looks like I'm due for a refill, so I will see you next time here at Cat Dog Craftworks. Well, that's all she wrote for this episode of Cow Dog Craftworks. It's just a nice way to make sure that these are nice and clean and whatever that material is on the inside isn't going to be getting onto all your stuff.